So have you heard of William Painter sunglasses? There are a new trending pair of sunglasses that are made of titanium, have polarized lenses, and have a lifetime guarantee. Sound too good to be true? Well, that's why we're doing the William Painter sunglasses review. It's Frame Friday, let's take a look. Hey, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here to the channel and you like taking care of your eyes and seeing your best, then hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, at any point throughout the video, you can check out additional links and information about these sunglasses in the YouTube description below. Today on Frame Friday, we are reviewing William Painter sunglasses, and chances are you've already heard of these sunglasses. It's from their YouTube William Painter ad. William Painter. They look good in board shorts. And heading to the boardroom. Now the real value in William Painters comes from their sales promise that they are the most high quality, most durable pair of sunglasses that you can buy that come with a lifetime guarantee. So if you somehow do break them or even lose them, they will replace them for you. So I thought, what do I have to lose? So I went ahead and ordered a pair and now let's go over some of the pros and cons. First thing I like is their different frame options. They have a wide selection of different frames and they're all very similar to other popular famous brands on the market. This frame just happens to look a lot like Ray-Ban New Wayfarers. This frame is actually called the Hook and it is a patented design that actually includes a bottle opener in the temple. And yes, it works. Now this party trick works because the temples are made with titanium, which is very strong. They're certainly not the only company or the first company to come up with using titanium in their glasses, but it does add to their durability. The downside is that titanium makes the glasses a little bit heavy. However, I do find that they're very well balanced and when you're actually wearing them, you can't really tell that they're that heavy and they're actually quite comfortable. Now, yes, the temples are made of titanium, but the front face is actually made of acetate. So it actually does have a little bit of flex to it. And so when you're wearing them, you can actually actually make adjustments to make them fit a little bit better. But honestly, just taking them straight out of the package, I didn't have to adjust them at all, they fit perfectly. Now, when it comes to the lenses of William Painter's sunglasses, these ones are made of nylon, which are actually better for reducing your chance of developing scratches or even breaking the lenses. Plus, the lenses do offer 100% UVA and UVB light protection, which is really important to me as an eye doctor. And the lenses are polarized, so it does a great job of reducing glare. Now, as you see here, I ordered a red mirror lens. They do have other options, including blue and the standard gray lens. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, smash that like button for me. Otherwise, let's get back to the review. Now, one of the downsides is that this pair of sunglasses does not have a backside anti-reflective coating. Very high quality sunglasses usually have an anti-reflective coating on the backside to prevent any sort of reflection of your own eye or any sort of sunlight maybe coming from behind you. Otherwise, it just bounces off that lens and then goes straight into your eye again. I think if the William Painter brand was looking to up the quality of their lenses, they'd simply just add an anti-reflective coating. And hey, if you're not sure what anti-reflective is or how it benefits your glasses, then you can check out my other video I'll link up here or in the description below about anti-reflective lenses. One more downside to these frames is similar to a lot of other brands. They include a logo stamp of their logo in one of the far edges of the lenses. It just happens to be the William Painter logo is rather large. And while I'm wearing them, I can actually see this like distorted kind of blurry image up to the side. And I find it very distracting, especially while I'm driving. It's almost like a bug is way up there, or maybe I have a large floater or something like that. I suppose I could just scratch off the logo or spray paint the whole thing and make it like a Casey Neistat frame. It's certainly not a deal breaker, but I do find it a little bit distracting. But other than these two things, the only other issue I had was actually when ordering the lenses. They actually sent me the wrong pair. It wasn't really all that big of a deal. It gave me a chance to maybe try out a different frame of theirs, which was sadly a little bit too big for me, but the quality was pretty much the same. But now I can test a William Painter's customer service and they were easy to work with and they got me the right pair of sunglasses pretty quickly. But honestly, despite a few just minor flaws and a few bumps in the road getting them, I actually do really like these glasses. I do find them very comfortable. I find them stylish and they do protect my eyes. Plus they even have that lifetime guarantee, which is pretty attractive considering how expensive good quality sunglasses can go. The price of these sunglasses has been changing. I think almost a year ago, they were only about $100. Now they're approaching 200. So if you wanna see updated prices, I have included a link in the description below if you wanna check them out. So I have a question of the day. What do you think of William Painter's sunglasses? Have you tried them yourself? And what's the next frame I should be reviewing? Comment in the section below. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.